Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh. Hi, guys. I like... We... I'm... I have the giggles. I was watching something prior to this that I... It was really funny. It made me want to watch a funny video, and that's what we're doing. I don't need to explain myself any further than that. Just, just sit down. Sit down. You, sit down. Pens. <laughs> I like pens. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at anything right now. You like pens. Okay. To know where Ow. my pens are. <laughs> For this reason, I have a three point pen policy. <laughs> What's your three point pen policy? Uh, well, point one, I find it important to know where my pens are at any. <laughs> ah. Oh, this is what I call like carryover giggles, okay? And David Mitchell is just funny with every word that he says. That's why I love Peep Show, okay? Pens. Any time. One, I find it important to know where my pens are at any time. Um, for example... That, that's, that covers all three, doesn't it? Pen. No, 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 no. <laughs> Point two yeah. is, to, um, is to be hyper-aware of any pen that I've lent out. <laughs> Point three uh, is to take any opportunity within the bounds of a reasonable interpretation of the law to purloin or otherwise obtain pens. Name three people yeah. who have currently got pens of yours that you want back. There are no people who have pens of mine. They're dead. <laughs> key part of point two is to get a pen back as soon as possible. <laughs> when people say, oh, can I borrow your pen? What I want to say is, absolutely not! Get your own pen! This is mine! However, as part of a scheme I'm working on to try and seem normal would be an exaggeration, but, you know, at least acceptable in broader society, I try not to say that. I try and seem casual about Oh, yeah, borrow my pen, that's fine. And then I'm thinking about it constantly until it is returned. <laughs> the pen that you've got with you tonight, is that your own pen or is that a, a, a BBC pen? This it is now my pen. Pass me the pen. I'd rather not. But you have to. <laughs> you have to pass me that. I will give it you back. Yeah. I will promise to give you the pen back. You Within five right. I will give it you back. That's just British English, right? That's not a mistake. I will give it to you back later. Okay, so I... T um, Let's meet halfway. All right. That'll be the first time we've made physical contact in five years. I see you. <laughs> right, put the pen on the floor and step away. Attention. Step right. away from you're the gonna, pen. You're going, the going pen. to destroy the pen. I'm not going to destroy the pen. <laughs> You've got such a cynical mind. Back yeah. away from the pen. He's going to destroy it. I'm not going to destroy the he pen. Is. That would be infantile. <laughs> So this is a pen you got from the BBC today. Yeah. If I take this pen and say, I'm keeping this pen, what will you do to get the pen back off me? I will not fight you. <laughs> so what are you thinking, Lee? There didn't seem much of a system, did it? That he's going to ask me to have the pen back, I'm going to say no, and he's going to leave it at that. And think about it for... Oh. I'm so sorry. It is first so to say sorry. we have created <laughs> drama. <laughs> You had explicitly reassured him in front of witnesses mm. that you would not break the pen. That is I didn't true. believe that him. I didn't believe him. I knew he'd break the pen. That pen, I'm afraid to say, I and I hope this doesn't make me sound heartless, when I put that pen down there, it, it was, was dead to me. <laughs> Which way are you going? Is he telling the truth or was he telling a lie? True. I bet you love pens. I bet you're pretty crazy about pens, but you do not have a three-point system. I think he might. <laughs> okay. That's the problem with this show, is, is do you have to say the base story? Do you have to say the basic story of the basic lie or truth? And then other things attached to that in the story can be false it's it's a fu it, this isn't 
a serious show with money on the line of strangers. Okay, I get it. It's a comedy show. Maybe I'm looking too far into it. I don't care. Go to hell. You don't you don't have to go to hell. I lost my train of thought. Oh, is art can you say lies within the bigger lie and it still be a it's true? Or does everything you have to say in the story have to be true? That's my Take a guess. That's my gripe. Truth or lie? We'll say it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie. David Mitchell, the truth or a lie? It's to David it Mitchell. To... True. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, it's true. David does have a three point pen policy, so he knows where they of course are. It is. It's David. Ooh, I like that noise. On a wall in my flat. It does have a three-point pen shot. policy, so he knows where they are. <laughs> it's David. Nice. On a wall in my flat, Why? there is a mysterious red switch. I have no idea what it does, because I have never pressed it and refuse to do so. <laughs> right, mysterious that seems like such a true thing. I, I, right off the bat, I'm saying true. That just seems like such a believable story. It switches. Uh, Lee, where's the switch? It's on the wall. Um, <laughs> sort of not directly, but not slightly on the sink. behind the television. Haven't you just had to have a, be tempted to touch it, see what it does? It's not that distracting. It's, you know, it's bright red. I'd say it's about maybe three quarters of an inch or an inch wide. It's and it's yeah, if this is false, Super good job on the writer of of the card. Because that is such a believable story. That like you went into an apartment or whatever, and there's the switch you just never really thought about. You didn't need it, but you don't know what it does. It's so believable. It's true. Either it's true and I'm right and I'm happy, or it's a lie and it's a cool question and I'm happy. Win-win. Like I've mentally like prepared myself. Cocked up. In a, in a sort of inviting erected. way that you might want to get a tweet ah, so it's, to. Got, it's in an upward position, you'd have to flick it down. Exactly. It's erect. Oh, that's always more scary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's your house. If no, it down, I'd assume that whatever it does was happening. Right. And, it's, but it, it, and I would, it I'd be afraid to turn it off. That would be awful. I might need it. Whoa. I might turn the oxygen off. <laughs> What do you mean? So turning something on means flipping the switch down? I have this weird pet peeve. This is, I'm going to sound really weird, and I'm you know, going to probably go down a notch in a lot of your minds. But I get a pet peeve when there are two switches in, that turn on the same thing that are like they're separated by a bit. So it's like, okay. you, But they turn on the same light. And sometimes you can turn use one switch... I'm a very interesting person, as you can tell. You can turn one switch on, and the light goes on, but then you can use the other switch to flip it up, and the light goes off, and now it's all messed up. Because now I'm like, okay, I'm going to turn the light on by flipping it down. That's chaos. But do you guys in the UK, is this another difference I haven't discovered yet? Down is on to you? You've never gone near it, you've never touched gone it. Gone near it. <laughs> <laughs> you've never gone, been I've gone very near it. I don't live in a very large flat. I can't sort of, I can't cordon off a whole area of the living room <laughs> just because of the proximity of a mysterious switch. I need that space. How long have you been in your flat and ignored this switch? Um, oh, it could be years. I moved into the flat about 11 years ago. That's a long time to ignore you a switch. Not, so, but but sometimes I do other things. It's not just been solidly ignoring the switch <laughs> 24 hours a day. <laughs> Is your granddad's dialysis machine going at the moment? <laughs> so, Lee, what are you going to say? This mysterious switch, I, is it true? I, I, I started believing it. It's because true. I thought, yeah, you do have those switches in your house and you don't know what they're for. I've got them. But you'd have but, to but, flick the switch, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd have to flick I'd have to flick the switch. I would be flicking that switch. You can't not fiddle, can you? <laughs> Just, it's there, you've got to play with it. Yes, well, it's <laughs> jazz. I 
remember seeing an episode of this show when David talked about his bedroom door, yeah. didn't have a door handle on it, he had to claw his door open every single time he opened his bedroom door. Mm. Yeah. So therefore, he's not going to bother about a switch. He's no, gonna he lives in the slums, He's going to leave the slums, yeah, basically, yeah. I want this to be a lie so bad. I've never wanted a thing on the show to be a lie as bad as I want this one to be a lie, just so I can give credit to the to the card writer. He does. Mm. He lives in a slum. So uh, I say, see, I say it's if true. They, if they paid proper repeat fees on Dave, it would be different. <laughs> So, Lee, what? what are you going to say, truth or lie? Des. He's telling a lie. You think he's telling a lie? Yes. Why? Well, I don't think he can ignore that. Look at that intelligent face. Look at that beard now. He looks, he does look like a professor. He hasn't got a bedroom door handle, Des. <coughs> How do you know? How do you know? Do you know? Like, <laughs> he wasn't even paying attention. So, truth or, truth or lie? I think I will go with <laughs> Tess and say it's true. You're saying it's true. David, truth or lie? It is true. Yes. I knew it was true from the moment I heard the question. It was so believable, so classic. Yes, it's true. David does have a mysterious red switch on the wall of his flat, which he's never pressed. Okay, I feel good now. I've had my funny bone tickle. I feel sufficient. Um... Love y'all. Maybe I'll continue this some other time. I just wanted to do a quick, fun little video reaction. Love y'all. Hope you're all doing well. I uh, would appreciate any comments down below, the, the, the good buttons, whatever you want. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye.